drop on the throttle they come. We're underway, pure stock style, down into one and two they go. And it is Betancourt with a nose advantage off of two, down the back straight away. Something broke on the 24 of Steve Buckley near the start finish line, but Betancourt continues to set the pace. He will lead lap number one with Josh O'Hara charging hard behind him. Ed Gould up on the outside. How about Ethan Souza making a run for the third spot behind the six of Gould. Bob Bettencourt the third leading his first lap. Some pure stock competition off of turn number four he comes. Josh O'Hara up into the second spot as they battle two and three wide behind him. Here comes the 41 of Danny Massa, the first of the championship contenders to break through on the inside. He's got Sam Lincoln and Greg Perry, Jared Kadira, and the 67 of Timmy Olet right behind him. But look at Lincoln down to the bottom. Three wide for third down, down low, and Hot Rod is on the move down on the inside. Hot Rod has half a car length on Danny Massa as Bobby Bettencourt starts to open up his lead by two car lengths. Trouble, Ethan Souza going around in the middle of turns three and four. Cordero able to keep it under power, but we are slowed up for the first time tonight. Ethan Souza coming through the corner, slowed up for a car in front of him. Up on the throttle they come, Betancourt and O'Hara bring the field down into one. Betancourt with the jump. Here comes Lincoln trying to squeeze on down to the inside. Settles back into second. Gould trying to make a run down the inside. Trouble for O'Hara down the back straightaway. Gets kicked up. Along goes a 67 of O'Lett. And that's Holdsworth. Oldsworth in the 26, nowhere to go and making contact and dropping some fluid on the racetrack. Ed Gould, fourth. And Scott Sestodio rounding out the top five. Mike Henrick, sixth. Up on the throttle, here they come off of turn number four. We're back underway. And again, that blue and white 21 showing shades of pop down into turn one, setting the pace down the back straightaway. Mass and Lincoln fight side by side for the second spot. How about Ed Gould getting a good run on the outside of Don Cornemont? Now finds himself near Scott's Estudio for that fifth position. Down into turn one, top four under a blanket, and this time it is the 34 off the, the uh, excuse me, the 41 down on the inside of Betancourt, down into three and four, as Massa looks for the lead off the corner. They come off of four, Danny Massa and Bob Betancourt drag race, Betancourt holds them off that time by 24 thousandths of a second, but off of turn number two, it's a different story, and here comes Danny Massa to the top of the leaderboard. Betancourt fell back a little bit three wide for the moment, for seconds, the studio quickly overtook that. Lincoln takes a peek to the inside. Nothing there. He has to settle in behind for third. Bobby Bettencourt right on his tail for four with Danny Massa setting the pace in a three and four. Ed Gould runs out the top five. Cotamash is six. Hendricks is seventh. Baddock is eighth. Uh, as the 55 of Hendrickson do does a little dirt tracking, thinks he's up at running the World 100 up on the outside. Down the back stretch they go, and the 41 of Danny Massa holds on by about three feet over the 15 of Scott's Estudio. They roll across the stripe to complete lap number eight. Top three knows the tail, and it turns one and two. Massa, Estudio, Lincoln, your current podium. Bentoncourt trying to throw it in hard on Lincoln. Massa setting the pace. Takes the lead into turn number four. Off the corner they come. It's Estudio knocking on the back door of Danny Massa. Down into turn one as they hit the corner. Lincoln sits third on the grid. Black flag out for the 18 of Marku for trouble on his machine. Up front, look at Scott Estudio. Trouble to hard hit down the back straight away. The 67 of Olet, the 55 of Hendrickson, both hard into the outside wall, up in turn number two, and down the back stretch. Red flag has come out as the safety team quick on the scene to check on the drivers. Nine laps complete, ready to rock and roll off of turn number four. Danny Masser and Scott Sestodio at the top of the field, ready to have at it, and bring the field off of turn number four as your pole sitter looks off the corner, sees a green flag wave, we're underway. Nine laps in, and it is a NASA and Sestodio at the top of the field. Down the back stretch they go. Here comes the 21 of Betancourt. Back up into third momentarily with Lincoln working the inside off of four. Massa overtakes the lead momentarily from Scott Sestodio. He will lead the charge, and it turns one and two. Top five, single file down the back straightaway. Here comes Sestodio getting a good run behind Massa for the lead in a three and four. Into the corner they go. Massa trying to hold off the charges of the former two-time champion as they head down into one deep in the field. They are spreading out three wide through the corner. Josh Baddock and 
Greg Perry made a little bit of contact as Perry had to gather it back in. Up front, Gould going to work on the 21 of Benton Court with the 03 of Henricks right there behind him, down into turns one and two, but down the back stretch into three. It is Danny Massa setting the pace into the corner. Massa leading the single file charge across the start finish line, 13 laps on the board, 12 to go. Sissodio screaming down the bunk back, back bumper of the Dutch auto body, number 41 into three and four, doesn't have the momentum. Massa will maintain his lead at lap number 14. Keeping that bottom lane all his, he's gonna make Sistodio work for it as they hit turn number one. Scott just up there behind him. Takes a peek to the outside, heading into turn number three. Settles it in, looks for a crossover off of four, but not enough room on the inside. As Massa and Sistodio still locking horns down into turn number one. Bettencourt still comfortably in that fourth spot. He's having a good run so far. Chasing Lincoln for third with Massa. Maintaining his bottom groove all to himself. Finds himself leading. Sissodio screaming again down his bumper. Down the back stretch and Betancourt doing a great job holding on to fourth. Gould has not been able to get by him. And if you know Ed, he's not gonna do it the hard, the wrong way. Waiting for his opportunity. There it is down on the inside. Slides underneath the rookie looking for fourth down at the turn number one. Mike Henrik's still in it as well, one of our eight Sunoco Drive for the Cup drivers. He currently sits in six with Kodera, Perry, Souza behind him. They are also in the chase for the championship. Meanwhile, near the front of the field, Massa clings to his bottom groove. Sissodio is working his tail off to get that lead back into three and four. Into the corners they go a little further back. Greg Perry, Jared Kodera, and Ethan Sues are all battling for that position deep in the pack as they come off of turn number two. That is for seventh, eighth, and ninth, and Perry is really pushing that car hard. Five laps to go, this time at the stripe for Danny Masser and Scott Sestodio, Sam Lincoln. Those are your top three, all nose to tail off of turn number two. Massa able to continue to set the pace into turns three and four, a little deeper in the field, a little side-by-side -side action between Benton Court and Henrik sets the battle for fifth. They touch a little bit. They both gather back in, give it to Betancourt at the stripe in a turn one. Betancourt's under heavy pressure. Jared Kadira working that inside lane. Trouble for Mike Henrik's in the 03. He is slowed up through turns two, one and two. Now he gets it back up to speed and he is struggling all of a sudden. That car is running badly and he is trying to salvage a good run. Two laps to go. They come off the corner. Massa and Sestodio knows the tail down into turn number one. Massa continues to set the pace down the back straightaway with Lincoln charging in for third. Ed Gould sitting in fourth off of turns number four. They come, white flag is out. Danny Massa in control at the start finish line. One more time around as Sestodio takes a peek to the outside, settles it right back behind. Off the second corner they come, glued to each other, down the back straightaway. Up to the outside for one final shot. Sestodio takes a look. Here comes Lincoln down on the inside there, but it's going to be Danny Massa picking up the win. Scott Sestodio in for a second. Third place going to the 34 of Sam Lincoln with Ed Gould and Jared Cadillo running out the top five. Greg Perry sixth. Ethan Souza seventh. Eighth to Bob Betancourt. Don Cotamash ninth. And Mike Henricks finished rounding out the top ten. There you have it. Picking up the win, Danny Massa. South. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Massa. Danny, you, you want to play offense and defense out there for those last 20 laps. Oh, that was a tough one. I got to thank Scooter. He was running me rough, but, well, not rough, but hard, but clean. And he could have moved me out of the way, but he, uh, he kept it clean. It's got to feel real good kicking off this uh, chase with a win. Yeah, with... Uh, how this year's been going after our win, this guy doesn't even deserve to be in the chase, but I think we're finding it, and uh, hopefully we're uh, going to make it to the last round and come out on top. Well, I know you got some people you want to thank. I want to thank Rick, uh, Rich Helga from Helga South Coast Power Equipment. He's a huge support. 
Branton Industries, um, the Side Draft Podcast, Dutch Auto Body, Alex and Deck Tools, Anna, Morgan, and uh, Peter and Little Tommy for helping out in the pits. Congratulations on a great win. Danny Mass is second place. Scott, he said you could have gotten him at any time. Uh, I don't know about any time, but it's, I'm thinking big picture. Um, we got to run these four races. I don't need to be on probation for moving somebody out of the way. Um, I didn't have the car to go buy him on the outside, so I wasn't going to move him out of the way. Um, I'm extremely happy with second place. We thrashed on this car all night. Uh, thanks to my whole crew and everybody who helps me. Uh, we never stopped. I didn't even get a chance to come out here to say hi to my fans tonight because I just I was working on the car right until we went out. Until the so I'm extremely happy with second place. Some spring changes over this week. You were telling me before tonight you think it felt, you felt a lot better in qualifying. How was it in the feature? Uh, it was a lot better in the feature because I made a lot of adjustments. It wasn't that good in qualifying. I almost didn't qualify. I was like one spot away from not qualifying. So we got some work to do on the car this week, but I'm happy that the, what we did tonight showed um, so I know where to go. And you got some people to thank. Yeah, I got to thank uh, so, uh, Helga South Coast Power Equipment, Spring Villa Memory Care, um, the whole Lambert family, Jeremy let me drive this thing. Um, he's right there with me, I support anything I need. He, you know, he's ready to go. Um, and my whole family for coming and watching me, my dad, uh, Crystal, everybody in the pits, uh, Cav, Soggy. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. This is big. Congratulations. Great run for a second. And I think a good run for third. Didn't have enough for the top two tonight. Uh, no, we were kind of just sitting back there saving. Uh, I thought there was going to be a restart, so I didn't want to use it up. Uh, but coming to that last restart, carburetor loaded up with fuel, and I had no power. So once I got third back, I was just hanging out because I knew if I uh, started on the outside with the carburetor problems, there was no way I was going to make it work. So podium was good tonight. And uh, bring it home in one piece, still in the chase, and uh, we'll take it. I know you got some people you want to thank. Yep, I want to thank Mom, Hunter, my girlfriend, my two brothers are out here, Doug with me every week as always. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Lighthouse Building Remodeling, CC Construction, CCC Life Coach, MWD Carpentry, and uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it. And also a uh, shout out to Bobby Betancourt Jr. He was racing with the best of us up there, only a couple races in, and uh, it was fun with, to race with him, so I look forward to more of that. I'm sure I'll be glad to hear that. Congratulations. Thank you.